hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, so guys today's session we will see how to use a post method in web method so how to create a rest resource rest at api descriptor previous demonstration we already discussed with the get method so i must say you can go through this particular video so that you will get a basic idea so let's start the demo for a post method okay so uh, first I am creating one flow service so service folder already created new and then click on flow service here I am like give the user define name as a user details and then finish uh, now empty flow got created so define your input output so in input output I am getting one string user then another string would be user id and then user name okay user name and in response i am taking one response document response here i am using uh, the three string okay uh, so Member name, then member, and then member ID ID. Okay, so select all the fields and then move right. After that, go to your tree tab and here take one branch tab. Okay, go to input output copy this user okay then in branch type uh, evaluate label property like branch we are using as a switch so you will evaluate label property as a false and then slash your switch value okay so if the user user is a main switch value so i'm taking one sequence for a labeling so just move right here I am giving one label as a active. Okay. So if user status is active, yeah, if user is active, then I am taking one map step. Move right. And in this map step, what I am doing? Just maximize this request ID to ID ename to ename and full name to full name response member name okay do one thing in user details input output tab go to your tree tab maximize this and just delete that one and then save the demo after that maximize your response document then user to member map user to member user id to id and username to member name okay and then save the demo after that minimize the pipeline and here if the condition is not satisfied then default sequence will execute for that purpose take another sequence move right here label you can give as a dollar default and in dollar default sequence i am taking one debug log insert insert pop dot flow debug log here message we pass as a condition not match and function as a function and label as a input 
okay then click on save after that we need to define our this uh, particular resource so member resource we already uh, like one resource we already created so in that particular resource we can define our uh, particular service and template okay so click on add option here give the name as a user and here we created one service member details how you can create a rich resource rad uh, previous demonstration we already discussed i am uh, giving this link in description box you can take it from there as well otherwise you can uh, like go through this play playlist okay then select your service click on post method this is post method basically click on okay after that do one thing in rad we had already created okay then save this particular demo now go to your postman i have to test this particular service so what i am doing this is my folder click on add request here you can give the name as a user details yeah post user post user and select the post method here we required our http protocol colon double slash local host host name okay local host colon 557 port number slash go to your service click on the member resource here we have a user resource okay so click on that particular user template prefix just copy and go to postman paste it after that we require a rest resource name so rest resource name will be your user okay then slash user and then slash okay so this is post method so basically what we required we required a body not a parameter okay so click on raw here we defining a uh, json okay so for json check the parameters go to your service user details input output user user id and username user user id and username okay so double quote user then you comma username in third field would be user id and then json beautify here i think one mistake is there right okay. then again save and beautify see whatever mistake you have in json it will showing the uh, red symbol okay again save and then send here access denied okay then go to authorization give the basic auth administrator manage okay and then save click on body and then send okay so you can see here the post method response member name member and id if condition is not matched then what it will execute the result you can just use it as a passive if condition is not match then it will execute the debug log but in debug log we just put a message not any kind of a mapping in the response document that's why it will uh, give the null response so how we can do that you see here the response is null 
if the condition is match then it will give the exact particular document or otherwise it will give the null response so guys that's all about today's demonstration next demonstration we'll see how to use the delete or yeah, patch method in web method okay so we'll come up with a new session very soon so guys i hope you like this video then please like share and subscribe uh, and also click on notification button so that i'm uploading the new videos daily or weekly so you'll get a notification for that as well okay so stay happy stay connected and thank you so much guys